Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sierra, and if you are new here, I'm a married mom of two small boys, one of which is right behind us. That's AJ, he's six years old, and Charlie is my three-year-old. He is not here today. I am also the owner of an indoor playroom here in St. Louis, and that is where we are at today. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you a tiny little makeover or facelift that I did to an area here in the playroom. Sorry, Mom. It's okay, buddy. <laughs> so let's just jump right into that video today, guys. This is the area that we will be giving a little makeover to. This is the small hallway before you enter into the party room. We have a felt wall. There's also the string art wall, and I think it could just use a little bit of my touch. Originally, the string art was on this piece of furniture that had wheels, so the kids were able to move it. It was used to go in and out of the party room during the week, but since we can't utilize the party room during the week right now, due to my inability to sanitize two rooms during COVID, I decided to take it off and put it directly on the wall. have a couple of puzzles um bulk card to it and as you can see these just don't fit as well because all of them are at the ground usually if they just get hit a little bit they will fall off and they're just not as sturdy uh, i put these all on last night before i left so this morning they are all gone usually the wind and the ac can make them fall off so i got this new mag or this new felt it's called the Felt Flannel Storyboard Set for Toddlers. I got it off Amazon. I will link it below for you guys. I haven't tested it out yet, but I'm gonna see about how big it's going to be. If I need to remove this completely, or if I can put it on top, we will see. But first, let's go. Where are you gonna put the um, puzzles? I don't know yet. So the felt wall came in different stories. So this one is under the sea. You can see they even have some Velcro on the back. So that's actually really nice. So this looks like really great quality. I'm also hoping that just felt on felt will stick on this. So we can do like a felt Christmas um, area. The kids really seem to like the felt. So this feels really thick. Oh, it's big. Okay. Wow, that is big. So Get up out of your it number. looks like it will fit directly on here, but I think for what I want, I think I'm just gonna put it straight on the wall. So first I need to remove this. The original plan was to attach the felt directly onto the wall. However, after removing the board, we quickly discovered that the Velcro on the wall took the wall with it when we tried to remove it. So plan B, we are going to attach the felt wall straight to the existing board. The fun part was adding all of the felt sea creatures and I think it turned out super cute. The second project I wanted to do was add a magnetic wall. I found this magnetic strip on Amazon. I will link that as well and it just stuck right on. I was worried about how magnetic it would be but I found that my Melissa and Doug people stuck perfectly and I am so excited to see the kids play with this. It's been like a week since I started working on this project and we are going to work on the mural for this wall today. You can see it goes all the way up. I need to paint over the peekaboo I see you and then I need to paint on this. Like a real professional probably would have painted the wall taken these out and then put this on. But um, as we know, I am not a real professional. <laughs> I am just winging it. So I'm going to get started on that project today and hopefully this turns out. I didn't really have a plan for this mural. I had a couple of ideas pinned on Pinterest. I knew I wanted something abstract with a lot of color. So I really just went in and started, and then I was able to make edits as I go. This 
this is where I'm at so far. I'm gonna add some more pink circles here. That blue needs um, another coat. And then we're gonna add some black. It's taking a while to cover this, <laughs> but it's coming along. I wanted to add some decals, so I got out my Cricut and I cut out some words. I made this one to say create, another one said let's play, and then I redid the ones above the door to say party room, and this was pretty much the final step. Okay guys, I am looking at this area right now and I love the way it turned out. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think and let's just take a look. that's all we have for you today I hope you like the small little upgrades that we did on that area I think it definitely made it look more like our style and if you liked this video I would like it if you would give it a thumbs up and if you loved it I would love it if you would subscribe thanks for watching everyone and remember wash your hands mm -hmm.